G'day folks, today we're going to look at replacing the factory raised air intake on my 200 series Land Cruiser with a Safari R-Max Snorkel. Now this factory raised air intake, uh, the seal is pretty dodgy on the bodywork, so I'm going to use the Safari SS88 HPR kit to replace the one that we've got. Alright, so we've got the factory raised air intake system off and um, I knew the seal wasn't great on these things, but to have one, two, three four sections that join together and are basically sealed by a bit of foam probably isn't the greatest so um, we'll chuck this system out and uh, we'll put the Safari system on and um, compare the two. So we're at the point now where we've got all the holes cut in the guard everything's painted up, we've got the insertion plate here uh, that covers up the original factory raised air intake holes we've got the factory holes in the A pillar covered up with the bracket supplied in this kit uh, we've also put the new bracket on the A-pillar and uh, the next step now is to get hold of this airbox and start modifying. I remember when I pulled the factory system apart, I wasn't too impressed with how many joins there were in the system. In fact, there were four. This one's got two. And uh, also, it was only joined together or, or sealed with um, foam. So this one has got a nice bit of rubber hose and some hose clamps. So hopefully that should be nice and watertight. Okay, so there's a Safari R-Max snorkel installed now. Um, system fitted up really well, quite happy with the, with the way it turned out. Uh, the instructions that it came with were bang on the money, so um, yeah, pretty impressed with them. That's probably why this is more of a what's involved video rather than an instructional one. Uh, the biggest difference between the two is obviously the factory snorkel had four joins in it and the joins were just foam, uh, not sealed properly. The Safari R-Max has got two joins and it's just basically the rubber hose between the airbox and the snorkel clamped down with proper hose clamps. So the other difference between the two uh, is obviously outside it's, there's quite a big difference that you can notice. Um, the factory one is quite small compared to the Safari R-Max. The R-Max doesn't come past the ARB brush rail uh, which is a bit of a bonus. And probably the only thing I'd do differently on this install is there is a little hole from the factory system just behind the snorkel here. I'd probably prefer to silicon up that hole, it's not quite covered properly and not quite sort of sealed properly so it's the only little thing I'd change but apart from that, pretty happy with the system and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Cheers.